with before we start it's probably time I made a confession in that I've never really thought that much about MGBs they've always seemed a bit pipe and slipper a bit stodgy kind of a sports car for people who don't want sports cars and that kind of confused me when I've seen so many of them in historic racing because I just haven't seen the appeal but Thanks to Motorsport's own Ed Foster, whose car this is, I've had to completely revise my opinion of MGBs because in the laps I've driven this car, I've just had the most fun. Admittedly, this car is a pretty special MGB. It's one of the works, sort of factory cars and it actually did the bulk of their test and development work so although it doesn't have quite as remarkable a racing history as some of the more noted cars it really has lived a life the basic recipe of this car like, like most British sports cars of the day is very simple front engine, rear wheel drive four speed, manual gearbox obviously no gizmos or driver aids whatsoever it's quite heavy for the period it's about 840 kilos which if you think an Elan of a similar period would be 580 or so um, and it's not especially powerful either this car is probably about 155 horsepower but the beauty of it is what you find as soon as you start driving the car is just how approachable the car is and how consistent and how communicative it is. It's very compliant, it's quite a soft car, you feel the body roll build. It's actually quite disconcerting to start with because you feel the car really sit down at the back and it actually feels like the whole car is tipping up. It's actually just hoisting its inside front wheel well clear of the tarmac and initially that makes you hesitate but actually the car wants to be driven with a bit more aggression not too much but just enough to get that that attitude in it at which point everything neutralizes and it just sort of sits down and digs in there we go <laughs> and you can just power through the corner without actually having to do a great deal of, of steering or throttle modulation it's all about getting that car set on the way in and then you can just concentrate on steering the, the cleanest quickest line out the engine's got plenty of torque this car has been built to do things like Spa 6 hours so you actually want something that's not too peaky and it really suits the character of the car because you can just settle into a rhythm with it you don't have to wring its neck and you can just settle into the whole rhythm of a race or a stint be consistent, not take too much out of the car not take too much out of yourself you're not locking wheels or getting particularly scrappy it's just a really nice partner if you like you can work together and really have some fun while doing it handling characteristics beyond that that quite quirky sense of sitting down at the rear the tighter the corner the more options you have really you can pitch it in on the brakes which is more for my own amusement than any kind of effective lap time but through the quicker corners you need to be more considered because it will settle into understeer from mid corner to exit and actually through the fast corners that can cause you to back off just where you really want to be on the power and concentrating on getting down the straight so it's although everything happens in 
relatively speaking, in slow motion, you need to plan ahead and you need to get the car set because otherwise it punishes you all the way to the next corner in terms of lost momentum. Ed tells me the brakes on this car are a little softer in pedal feel than it perhaps should be. But actually the brakes work very well. You don't suffer with lock-ups and they seem well up to the job of slowing the car. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that is such a good feeling and so much fun. I think as a car to really get to know and to enjoy racing in all kinds of different categories of historic racing, I think an MGB would be very hard to beat in terms of fun for your money and just the simple pure pleasure of getting the best from what is a really, really engaging racing car. <laughs> Saves on tyre wear. <laughs> 